Tonight, taking time to remember. With Veterans Day less than a week away, the Remember Our Fallen Memorial is back in Knoxville for the first time since 2018. The memorial honoring the lives of veterans lost since 9-11-2001. Six on your side, Kristen Gallant was at the opening ceremony earlier today for us and joins us now with more on this emotional display. Yeah, that's right, Bo. Now, the Crutch Park extension in downtown Knoxville is now full of 34 tribute towers with the faces of hundreds of our fallen soldiers. The memorial was unveiled in nationally at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. in 2017, and now for a short time, it will be right here in Knoxville. It's 34 towers that really represent the true heroes and those fallen uh, who have given the ultimate sacrifice since 9-11. Eight wreaths now lay at the front of this Remember Our Fallen Memorial, representing each branch of the military and Gold Star families. I hope that you pause and you understand that freedom is not free. This veteran and father knows that all too well. I was in both the Marine Corps and the Army. His family has served for generations. My father was in World War II and my grandfather was in World War I. Well, I spent nine years in the Marine Corps, and I liked that. But then I got out, I joined the Army, or three. Two of his three sons followed in his footsteps. Scott, Scott was in the Army. Uh, Adam was in the Army. One never made it back home. Scott, he joined it right out of high school. Just following my footsteps, because I joined in high school. He loved the military. He saved a lot of guys' lives. He, he was a staff sergeant. And he, well, his main mission was find a lot of IEDs. He's the last one got him. He was killed by an IED. Now he's honoring his son by traveling with this memorial and presenting the wreath for Gold Star families. I was looking for another job, and they were looking for another driver. So I said, that's perfect. I'm a veteran. I'm a Gold Star father. Plus, I'm a Class A truck driver. And they're like, oh, you sound perfect for this. The perfect job that brings back a lot of emotions. It's a hard group to join. I wouldn't wish that for anybody, but once you're in there, it means a lot. Now he's honoring other families like his. Staff Sergeant Scott Brunkhorst is buried at Arlington Cemetery. Bo. Kristen, thank you very much. And we do want to point out the memorial will be a Crouch Park extension until November 11th. So you can see it there.